Uh, it's definitely changed. It's grown a lot. Um, when I first got here, I was a little shaky. I was kind of nervous about playing with these guys and whether or not I'd be able to click and kind of mesh with them. I was coming from a system that I had played in for four years, and I was a little nervous that that would carry over more into what we're trying to do here. And uh, kind of cut that off middle of the summer and switched over, and things have been good since then. Cal said he wanted to see some other guys play with the intensity that you play with. What 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 is the source of your intensity? What what do, what do you draw? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I love love playing basketball. I mean, you get to play in front of 23,000, 24,000 people every day. That's a motivator in itself. Playing for UK is a motivator in itself, and uh, playing for my family and playing for myself, um, and playing for the name on the front and the back of the jersey, and. Uh, just kind of playing within myself and, and doing my thing. Nate, there were 13,000 people here tonight for a scrimmage. Just how many times did you play in front of a crowd that big? Oh, wow. Uh, no, NCAA play tournament twice. Yeah. Uh, that, those like might be it. Yeah, nothing nothing crazy. You talked about using Kentucky as a motivator to fans. Just how much were you able to feed off of that energy once you started draining those first couple shots? Uh, I mean, when you see a couple shots go in, you, the rim gets bigger and your confidence level kind of raises up. So for me, and being able to put the ball in the hoop a couple of times kind of got my confidence going. And then seeing my teammates make plays and, and doing the same things, uh, it kind of gets everybody going. You seem comfortable rebounding and three-point shooting. Is that something you did a lot of work now? Try to. I mean, my coaches, my coaches probably will say otherwise. But uh, no, that's something that I need to do here in order to play. Oh, in order to play, and that's thank you. And that's something that we work on every single day in practice, and, and just trying to kind of carry that over. Nate, I saw you caught Tyrese with a nice dunk and did the head pass. <laughs> Is that something you guys do in practice and have fun? Reese, I hope you didn't hear me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, we just it's we're just having fun, enjoying ourselves and, and getting to getting to play and kinda of get a feel for everybody. What does that mean? I was on his head. Yep. Dunked on him. Oh, okay. He'll get me <laughs> he'll get me back, I know it. <laughs> I heard that you uh, somebody was saying that you apologized to the uh, one of the refs for uh, Oh, for my language, yeah, yeah. My mom would she's gonna probably text me about it, so <laughs> no, we they, they talked to us before the game about watching our mouths and said something, so I apologize for him. What did he respond to your Oh apology? he was just like you're good, don't worry about it. So Nate, I know it's early, but what's how, how different does it feel with the extended three point line this season? Oh, it definitely allows us to space the court and, and kind of play real spread out. And I think one thing that we do really, really well is shoot from all five positions. And it kind of gives us the opportunity to play downhill and then get driving kicks and get open shots and get, in, get into the middle of the lane. What do you think about adding a 6'9 baseball and a right-hander to the team? It's going to help us out in practice, especially when, when guys get sick or a guy has an injury or something like that. He's going to be beneficial to kind of, especially with the bigs, be able to guard people and, and give us an extra body and uh, help us out in, in practice. No, you weren't here last I haven't. Uh, no, no, he, I think he started like yesterday, the day before, so he was kind of just there. And he, he did a, an individual workout with KP at the end of practice, but he hasn't played yet. Has anybody like, said, like, I'd like to get in the batter's box and try to hit your curveball? No. <laughs> I heard about his arm. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah, when I was younger, but I stopped when I was in like ninth grade, and then I played again my senior year. And you I was in front of a six foot nine baseball. No, I mean it's huge. <laughs> <laughs> Nate, I know you weren't here last year, but just what have you seen from Emmanuel in terms of his aggressiveness and stuff so far this? Year? I mean, I watched him last year. Uh, he was teammates with my my teammate at Bucknell and uh, Kimball McKenzie at in high school, so uh, I had a connection with him through that and just. The, the transition that he's really made, like the, the kid's confidence level is through the roof right now, and he's really playing well, and he's playing without thinking. And you guys really got to see at the end of the second half, like when he gets out and goes, like that's when he's really, really good, and he's scored however many points in a row. So if he can do that for us and then be able to knock down shots, he's, he's going to be really dangerous.